Thanks everyone for coming back for another segment of the MCR. Mac is to my left in his pretty multicolored blue shirt, and I'm still sporting the flannel with a new hat. USA, <laughs> USA, USA. <laughs> In this segment, please like, share, and subscribe. We're on multiple platforms, YouTube, BitChute, YouTube, and Rumble. Uh, and so uh, whatever platform you're watching us on, thanks, everyone. Just as one thing real quick. We will be going on Truth Social once it's available to Android users. Okay. All right. That's our plan. Anyway, in this segment, I want to talk about something. I've seen a trend the last couple of weeks. And, and I'm seeing, actually, it's been going on longer than that, but I think it's really, really, it's, it's becoming a problem now. It, 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 I'm, I'm becoming increasingly concerned. And it's, you know, on, on, on the right side of the fence, on the right side of the issue, I, I feel like, and, and, I, and I, heard, uh, uh, I heard one person, I think it was, might have been Sebastian Gorka uh, or... or uh, or maybe uh, Ben Shapiro, I don't know. But they were breaking the right into three groups. You got the center right, who they're center right because they try to cater to the the, the highbrow, never Trump rhinos, okay? But and you reach across the aisle. Yeah, you got the center right, and you got the alt right, and then you've got what I'm going to call the mainstream right. And I'd like to think I'm mainstream right. We are. Okay. And our viewers are. Right? Yeah, I'd like to think I'd like to think we're mainstream right. But in the last couple of weeks, this Ukraine war has really exposed what I'm gonna call the alt right. And and the reason why I wanted to do a segment is others have begun to notice it. And when I say others, I mean Sebastian Gorka. I mean uh uh Oh, the guy at 12 o'clock, Dan Bongino, almost forgot his name, Dan Bongino. Dan Bongino's talking about it. I watched this one guy on YouTube. I wouldn't say he's my favorite channel, but I like, I like, his, I like his material. I like watching him. Uh, the guy's name is Jack Richland. He's a Marine vet, and his YouTube channel is Black Scout Survival. Okay. He's, mentioning, it. he's mentioning it. And I gotta tell you, when I hear him talk about it, I feel like he and I are reading from the same bullet point. Well, I could, I mean, you and I have discussed it because I do the social media for this channel, and I see it. I and, see it every every time we do a video. And and you know what? It, it's and, and we'll go back to when we had uh, uh, what was it? YP as we call him anonymously, yeah, right. YP from Ukraine, and uh, uh, some of the things that were said uh, about him and us and. You know, from the alt right, uh, and I, I was, so, I was compelled to do a segment on it. In that, you know, do people realize they are siding with and 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 tr attempting to validate an ex KGB communist because they are so anti New World Order, so anti George Soros, and and you know, hands down, this ain't good, but. You know, well, someone tried to explain your your protest here by saying, "The enemy of my enemy is my friend." Yeah, which I do believe well, in. But who's the bigger enemy? Well, that's what you know. What it's <laughs> they attacked uh, YP, and because they didn't listen to the entire interview, and yeah. in that interview, in case you didn't watch it or hear it either. Uh, he said, these are my opinions. These are my observations. I'm no way saying that these are absolute black and white facts. I'm paraphrasing that, but that's what he, that's what he said. Well, I remember listening to Sebastian Gorka, I, I would say a week or so ago, and, and he seemed genuinely surprised and hurt. And he referenced Mark Levin. And he said how he and Mark Levin were being called sellouts by the alt right. We were as well, and for for uh, daring to pull, and uh, you know support, and, and 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 you know for Ukraine. Not that we want to send troops over there. Not that we want to establish a no-fly zone. Just for the very fact that we would like to see Ukraine prevail. And because we would like to see Ukraine prevail, now we're sellouts. And, and well, we're not buying into the let's have a common enemy game. 
Well, I even in in one of my in my previous solo, I made the comment that Gorka is a staunch anti-communist, as am I, and I think you are too. Yeah. But, oh, absolutely. So you know, if you're an anti-communist, and knowing that Ukraine was once part of the Soviet Union and now has no desire to even return to the days of old. You know, something not well, well now we're sellouts. Well, one of the you comments that, that I had to address was with the guy, and initially I kind of gave him a touche, but then as I thought a, thought a, a little further, I found uh, uh, something in his comment that wasn't valid, at least I don't think, and I think if he thought it through a little further, he would agree with me. His, his point was that uh, Russia doesn't want a NATO country on their border with missiles. As as we would as we didn't want Cuba with missiles, and we wouldn't want can we wouldn't want China on our Canada border or in Mexico. That's where I said touche. I get that. Yeah, I get that. Too. But in thinking about it, if he if uh, if he successfully takes the Ukraine, what has he accomplished? He has put a NATO country on his new border, which would be Poland. Yeah. Yeah. So then what, now we got, now again, I can't have a NATO country on my border, so I have to take Poland. You know, you have to go all the way to what, the British Isles? Yeah. To, to, so are, are we're good with that? Because on the premise that you know, we would do the same thing? Well, there's a lot of evidence that we haven't done the same thing. Well, you know, we didn't take, you know what, we didn't take the Ukraine. Poland didn't take the Ukraine because we had a, an enemy on our border. I just, I just... It's it's very easy to it's very easy to say well you know we get that Putin doesn't want NATO on his border, but but uh, that that totally uh, lacks to take into consideration that the that Ukraine uh, was was forcefully admitted to the Soviet Union. And, you yeah, know, that too. And and, and you he know, doesn't have a problem with that. Yeah, and and when the Soviet Union fell apart. Ukraine and and something I can't I didn't realize and uh, something like twenty seven with the falling of the Soviet Union twenty seven countries and I'm going to say overnight even though it wasn't over a twenty four hour period but real sudden like twenty seven new twenty seven new nations were were created Uzbekistan Tajikistan. Uh, uh, and there's that other st uh, other stand. I call them the stands. The stands. There was three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Right next to each other. Uh, Moldova, the Baltic states. Slovenia. They they all became separate countries with the falling of the Soviet Union. You know, and all of these countries, and and I don't know if Uzbekistan and Tajikistan uh, are, are are as concerned about the old days like the Baltic states and Ukraine and Moldova, even though Moldova can't do much about it. Well, let's say for the sake of discussion, that's all the interest that uh, Putin has is mm -hmm. keeping a NATO come. This is very easy. If if this the solution is, is simple, if we if NATO would have to promise and keep the promise that if we went to if if you if Ukraine became a a NATO country that we would never put nukes in that country. Well, and and I have drifted from my original premise here, but what I, what I've seen in the last couple of weeks, and the concerns have been voiced by Black Black Scout Survival, Sebastian Gorka, Dan Bongino. We are we are fighting amongst ourselves over Ukraine. Yeah. And, and and it wasn't and, by accident. And, I, don't and, think. I think they knew we'd take that. And, and the left is got to be sitting back, laughing, taking notes, and thinking, "Let them eat each other." Maybe that maybe that'll give us a chance in the down the road. Well, we, we don't get trolls like we used to, but you know they would be very ha uh, hateful. They, they'd call us uh, name fat asses, which I'm a fat ass. I'll admit that. So what's your point? Uh, you were recently called a a turd. And a fat ass turd at that. So, I'll live. So you know those comments. You know I thought, well, I'm a piece know, of excrement. The the uh, <laughs> I, where do I begin the debate with your point? Uh, yeah, really. So you get that, and then you get we get actually more hate from the factions of the right than we do from the left. In the last couple of weeks, for sure. For we sure, have for the sure. Q the Q people. 
if you're not in lockstep with them, if you don't believe John Kennedy is still alive, waiting to be Trump's running mate, or that Trump is going to be reinstalled, I saw that as late as yesterday, a woman on Facebook, or Gab, said, I can't wait until Trump's uh, installed next year. Factoid. If, the, if Joe Biden were determined to be an illegitimate president, we don't just, Trump doesn't just win. There has to be a new election. Now, would, would I hope he would win? Yeah, but that just, their whole, their lack of understanding as to how the law works and how elections work and why we have the electoral college and things like that, that's what leads them to these crazy decisions. And, you know, this Black Scout survival guy was kind of saying the same thing. So we thing. got the Q people. We got the never Trumpers. They hate us. Uh, and just a gaggle of people who, if you don't buy into their, I won't even call it philosophy, I'll call it their doctrine, then you're no good. You're a, piece, you're a turd. You're no good. And they, they, they want nothing to do with you. So the cancel culture on the right is alive and well. It sure is. And, that, and, that's, and, that's, and that's the concern. Uh, and and it's and, you know Dan Bongino was talking about it. Sebastian Gorka was talking about it. Black Scout Survival was talking about it. And uh, I'll tell you oh, what. Well, prime example that, that I can cite that, that really happened. I wore a, a, a three percenter hat in the video. Now I'm not in any three percent organizations. I don't have anything against them, but I'm not I'm not part of them. But I liked the hat. It was black and it had that logo. I, I like the hat. So a guy said he had to cancel us and he unsubscribed because uh, the, the founding fathers, uh, they, they wouldn't be for uh, three percenters over a hat. So no. any slight departure from their narrative or their doctrine, you, you're canceled too. So that's, that's, that's it. I've said my piece on this topic. Um, I'm pointless to beat a dead horse. Don't even know if what I said will make any difference at the end of the day, but... I was compelled to get this off my chest. All right. All right. And uh, that's it. Anything else? No. Nope. All we'll right. Have to go on and on, of course. Yeah, we yeah. could. That's it for now. See you in the next one. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't fret on me.